So hey out there guys, it's uh, Tuesday and uh, I got my switches in so I got a little quick video on that in case you didn't know what I was talking about. I'll put a link to this stuff. This is a blue fire. They're called blue fire switches, okay? Six switches mounted on a panel, all pre-wired. They come with uh, their USB ports, two USB ports, and a 12 volt socket there for power port and a voltage meter there. I go, wow, perfect. And the dimensions are, um, of course, they've got them in metric here, but it's they're like uh, it's like seven inches wide, so it fit perfect right below the factory switches. So I'll, I'll show you that. Now it wasn't perfect, perfect. I mean, it doesn't fill up the whole gap that's under there, but I can I can put a filler in there later. But this is really good quality stuff. I thought this back plate would be plastic, but it's aluminum, fairly thick. It's rigid. Really good quality switches. They've got little pilots on the bottom, and then they brighten up when you activate them, right? So all that. But they're deep. You see how deep they are? So I had to cut the back out of the factory bracket for them to fit. Once I did that, yeah, fit perfect. Everything's wired very easily wireable, you know. But you want to wire this to something that is connected with your ignition, okay? You might want to do that if you want these activated when your engine's on because then the, the pilot light will light up, right? Um, I want these to work when the engine's off and on, but prefer preferably when they're off. So like if I need to charge something without the motor running, I can turn this on because these pilot lights will light up. You don't want those on all the time. You don't need the voltage meter on all the time, right? So I added a switch and a relay and uh, if you look at that, yeah, very well done. I like it. That worked good for me, so I'm going to show that video. And then uh, in the back of the truck, I got a little cheap fuse panel. I see them all over YouTube. I mean, guys using them for their overlander, you know. But if you want a really good quality one, try a Blue Sea. These are marine grade. Um, yeah. <laughs> now this is a 12 circuit one, but they have ones, smaller ones, like a 6 circuit. I probably should have got that. I don't need all 12 circuits. Nice to have the extras, though. Um, it's got your hot lead, your positive goes to the bottom to power up your fuses. Okay, and then you got a negative on the top, and it gives you a negative, a, a grounding bar, a bus bar on the top. If you look at my old one, I ran it, I had to run something separate. I had to run a grounding bar, bus bar. This is where I run all my, my compressor and my inverter and electrical. And so, um, I was looking at, I think, Ronnie Dahl's video or somebody's video out there, Overlander showing in their wiring, and they're using one of these. This thing is junk. If you look closely, you can see where one of the fuses uh, <laughs> melted. It didn't, I mean, the block melted before the fuse went out. Uh, yeah, that's right. This thing's really cheap. I'm going to eliminate this, put the blue C one in there, and that, that'll also eliminate this ground bar here. So that'll take some reconfiguring. I don't know whether I'm gonna have time for that or not. And then, uh, just to show you another Blue Sea product here, I use this Blue Sea um, battery isolator. It's a automatic charging relay. Comes with the relay, comes with two fuses, and then it's got this switch. I think the switch was extra. But with this switch, I can run See right now, the system's disconnected. Right there, that's my auxiliary battery. And then I can manually hook up both batteries. For instance, if my battery in the engine compartment is dead and I need to, I need the other battery to start, to start the motor, I can also switch this over and that'll combine both batteries. Meanwhile, it's gonna go like that. So now, right now, since the engine is off, it's not charging, so the relay opens up. When you start the engine, 
the re relay connects and connects the front battery with the rear battery and everything's charging together so that's a nice system I don't remember whether it came with those relay or with those fuses or not See these fuses I don't remember but it's I like it I like it yeah so I'm going to eliminate this, take this out, but then all these wire, all these ground wires got to be redone. The power lead here has got to be extended because the, the lead on the box, on the new one, is on the bottom. So and then, and I'll have to make some new cables up. But anyway, stay tuned and I'll show you what I did on the switches. I just wanted to add this real quick before I post it. The switches. I think I'm going to monkey around with the switches right now on this truck because I want to get this truck ready to go uh, trail run next weekend, right? So I'd like to have my switches in here. Although, yeah. So um, what I need to do is uh, pop this out and to see if it's even possible because the switches have a depth on them. They're they're deep because of the cigarette lighter plugs and stuff. Alright guys, uh, it's getting, sun's setting, it's getting cold already, you know, god dang it. And uh, you see with all the stuff here, I really don't have room to work. It's just like, I gotta work outside here. So, see, here's the switch idea, I think it's gonna work. If not, I hacked it up for nothing, but yeah, it's gonna just like that. This is the factory bracket, and I just, I had to cut it to fit this uh, switch. Gosh, you know what, there's like really no brand name on the switch. I'll post a link to it though. So I had to configure it for my application, so I had to add a relay on there. Because I don't want this volt light on all the time. I only want it on when I'm when I need it. Right? I don't need all this stuff powered up 24 hours. So I put a switch on there to control everything. So when I hit the switch, <laughs> it's supposed to this is the way it's supposed to work, yeah. When I hit the switch voltmeter should come on and everything else is lit up everything's hot I got my USB ports my 12 volt power pole power port cigarette lighter thingy all my lights um, so I had to add a switch I added this little tiny switch this is from super bright LEDs it came with those lights I bought and then I had to add a, a fuse and a relay so this relay is actually going to attach under here. Now that I'm, I, had, I just made sure everything's going to fit. Yeah, everything's going to work. If I hooked it up, if I wired it correctly, yeah. All right, guys. So here's the wild, wild world. Yeah, this is Red Dog's wild, wild world. Unorganized, just stuff all over the place. But got my. 12 volt power supply up there rigged up for the from the last little experimental stuff I figure hey let's try this out and see if I actually hooked it up right right so there's my voltage there's my pilot light see my little pilot lights there so that works out cool so then when I want to run the LED bar you know ah, bam right oh let's turn the KC roof lights on the KC gravities yeah Mm, I think I'm gonna make this here the fog lights. So those will be my fog lights. These will be my backup lights, and these will be right and left floodlights on the side of the truck. How cool is that, right? Uh, right. Turn everything off. That's too bright. I'm gonna turn everything off. Do it. Do it. Do it. Master power. Oh, all right, ready to put this thing in. Got it all done up here, okay? I know it looks complicated, but the majority of everything is wired here. I just had to tap in a ground and a 
power so I got my so here's my power coming off my battery I got a four gauge coming in and so it's got four extra taps on there so I got one for the switch this one here goes to my CB radio and that's you know I got extras there just in case so I had to reconfigure this a little bit I had to identify all these wires here each one controls something color coded they go back to the camper shell these two red wires here um, what is that again one's the fog light and one's the LED bar on the bumper so these go to the front of the truck these little wires here these are just control wires for the relays on the shell so yeah see install gear good stuff so far pop that down there leave my uh, cigarette plug in there for the for the dash cam and then over here so you got the USB port for my flash drive right so I put a little extension on there it works perfect so I'm gonna put the panel back on I don't have any problem accessing it so now I got to plug these wires in to the switches see the switches in the bottom see the spades there, there we go. Yeah. mounted my relay nice and neat just tested it out right now this is my master switch 12 and a half volts 12.6 cool ding ding dong man damn it Urgh. so uh man this is this is it's kind of a pain working on this stuff. The shifter's in the way, so you gotta put the key in, turn the key on, pull that over. Gotta stuff all those wires in there, and it's hard to do, you know. You don't want to put too much slack on there, and then you have them, you know, you want it just right. Not enough slack, then it makes it hard to connect your wires. But to get it, everything, cram everything back in there, you got this stupid thing in the way, and all this shrimp crap in the way. Gotta kind of lean over and make sure everything clears. My cigarette lighter, uh, this the power to the dash cam is kind of cramped in there, but it fits barely. This is the wires. I don't want this wire to show for the power, but that's that's what it is. My uh, USB flash drive, perfect. Let's see here. Let's put this out of the way there. So that'll work. That's kind of better. I like the option of having this. Okay. I need to charge cameras or something like those GoPros use the USB charger. That I've never used, but it's good to have. Oh, uh, yeah. So, um,. I do have two more USBs on the back of the console here, but the problem with those are they stick out and they get damaged. I also got one in there. That's for my iPhone. But yeah, so I can GoPro cameras, I'm on the trail, I can plug them in right there. Or, even if I'm off the trail and the truck shut down, I need power, no problem, I just flip the switch there, it's on. It's hot, in other words. Lights. Hopefully everything works. See, it's pretty sturdy, just like that. So I really didn't need to hook, put nothing on here. I was gonna make a bracket for these down here, but then it'd be more problems hooking it up there. So yeah, fourteen two, fourteen one. Shut it down. I only need this. Shit. You know, it's on call. I need power. I can shut the car off. Leave the charger plugged in and monitor my voltage right there. And that's just the engine battery. Yeah, the start battery. It's got an automatic relay that disconnects the auxiliary battery that's in the bad and that's in the back. 
when the engine's off, it disconnects.